Credit Valley is home to the town of Port Credit that has a rich history. It was founded by settlers who arrived in 1796, with the first church being built around two decades later. The many lakes and rivers provide plenty of fishing, boating, canoeing and kayaking opportunities for people to enjoy the outdoors. It also has a great food scene with many restaurants to choose from. The Port Credit area is a great place to explore if you like taking walks, bike rides, or strolls at the water's edge. There are also plenty of shops to enjoy browsing through, cafes to grab a coffee or tea, and restaurants that serve up delicious meals. The Port Credit Waterfront District offers many opportunities for fun activities, including the Ryerson Jordan Pedestrian Bridge, which allows you to walk over the water. You can also take a walk on one of the many trails that run along the Credit River. I would not be able to tell you all the fun things to do and see in Port Credit if I had a lifetime. So I will just recommend three of them. 1. The Credit River, it's the perfect place to walk around and enjoy nature or go for a bike ride. You can take your dog too. 2. The Port Credit Museum, if you love history, this is the place to be. There are artifacts from all over the world, and it's so fascinating to look at them. 3. The Blue Mountain Village, if you want to get away from reality for a minute, this is where you should go. The village has so many shops and restaurants that will take your breath away with their beauty. There are also parks like Grand View Point Park, which provide natural settings for active pursuits like hiking or biking. For more zoos in Mississauga try the African Lion Safari Park, which provides opportunities for visitors to view animals up close and personal. Port Credit's claim to fame is the Credit River. There are many places along it where you can take in some nature and the peacefulness of the area. One of our personal favorites is the lighthouse. It is a little hidden gem that will give you an amazing view of the river and help you take some time for yourself. Mississauga First Nation has been located on their land since 1807 when they were removed from what is now part of Toronto. They were relocated to this location by law after an agreement with New Credit Band and Mohawk, who also lived on this land. The Mississauga First Nation is a part of the Anishinaabe language group, which was originally referred to as the Ojibwe. The people were called Ojibwe because they were known for fishing with hooks made from bone, which the word jib means. Credit River is one of the major tributaries of the Credit River, which flows from Ojibwe territory in Listowel. Credit River is a large river in southern Ontario. It starts at Ojibwe territory and flows through Listowel and Midland to Mississauga. Credit River also has many smaller tributaries like Bronte Creek, Here Ontario Creek and Etobicoke Creek. Credit River is home to many First Nations who live on its banks and its tributaries, such as Mississaugas and Chippewas. These First Nations were traditionally farmers with their main crops being corn, beans and squash. Credit River was also used by early settlers for farming because it was fertile land that could be used for agriculture. It is believed that the area known today as Mississauga was originally inhabited by the Algonquin people. It is believed that they used to live in small villages and travel by foot or canoe in order to get around. The first European settlers arrived in the region in 1805 and after some time they began to settle and develop. As time went on, more and more white settlers came into the region and built farms along Credit River. During the fall the Credit River is a popular site to watch the annual salmon run. In the port, families and anglers can be seen crowding the shores to watch the salmon as they leave Lake Ontario to make their journey upstream to the shallow and calm waters of the Credit River and beyond. The best month to view the run is in September. You will be totally amazed to see the size of the 20 to 30 pound Chinook salmon as they make their way north. The salmon are in season in Ontario and the harbor offers many chartered events to let you get your fish on. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will always know when I post a new video. Thank you my friends, 
Stay safe and see you next time.